these recommender systems, recommender algorithms, recommender engines, that's the engine of growth in uh, many of the companies, the social media companies, but also well, like from Netflix to, uh, well, of course, the, the recommender search engine in Google was one of the first one in social media, what it recommends yourself on Amazon when you do shopping. So that's where you get the interaction and because it really, it's, it's useful. It, it makes good recommendations. Now, back in the days, we had one recommendation for, for everybody. It was just like one big billboard and like, I'm not really interested in that. Now it knows you, it can cater to you. And that is important because supply and demand, the matching of supply and demand is what the economy is all about. So it's fantastic. It, it's really useful uh, for social progress that we have that. And these recommend albums that study you in space and time are then also classified according to the two biggest groups of recommend algorithms are the ones that study you in time or in space. So let's let's talk about that. So we have data in time about you, your behavior from the past. So these are called content-based filtering, recommender algorithms. And when we talk about this, there's content-based filtering and collaborative filtering. So take note of that. So recommend learn in uh, recommender engines learn information in time about you yourself. So for example, we have a database here and we have four different products. And then we have you as the user and you have a certain behavior in time about that. And I can see, so as I monitor you as you're on the web page, I can see you like some products and you don't like others. I can see you spend some more time looking at some and I see you spend less time on others. I see you spending money on some kind of categories. Then I see you clicking or, or, or not clicking, which is like, an so I have a lot of footprints about you of how you behave in that space. Now I'm Amazon's recommender algorithm. What of these products do I think I will recommend to you? Are you still with me? Yeah, right. So which one do you think I recommend to you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious, right? It's a book nerd. I mean, that, that seems, it, it falls out of the data. So now I have information about your behavior in time. That's called content-based filtering. It's the content that is. Now I can also have information in space. So uh, even if you have never been on the web page. I can still make recommendations to you. And that's kind of like funny. So if I, have, if I don't have a time record from you, I can make recommendations because I have fine grained information about others. That's why this is called collaborative filtering. You collaborate with information from others and you match it with your characteristics to see, well, that's it. If, if all men like this and all women like this, then the probability, not it's always probabilities. And that's what it does, it's stereotyping. It puts people in boxes and then see what they like. So let's check that out. So here I have, again, my marketplace and I see user number one likes and dislikes this, number two likes and dislikes this, and there am I, user number four. I like books again, I dislike books this time and I like skateboards So, but which is the product I should offer next? The movie? or the soccer ball. Well, let's organize it a little bit in our database and I invite you to go back and check that I didn't make a mistake. But if I put all of this network mash up, then it will look like this. And now the question, what recommendation should I give to you? The movie or the soccer ball? Well, it seems pretty obvious, right? That that person is like, according to what other, the patterns that other people like, it's, recommended the movie and these well nowadays the recommend algorithms are not 100% content based filtering 100% collaborative filtering and there's an entire science of how you can mix mash them and there are other ways of kind of like also doing that but fundamentally fundamentally th there's only space and time 